Uh, All right, episode 21. Lauren wanted us to say, what's 9 plus 10? Which is just like, come on, dude. Lauren, it's 2025. Oh. Do you guys want to hear what happened to me yesterday? It's funny. Yeah, I want to hear what happened to you yesterday. I was um, flying back from Boston, and I was taking, like, the night flight. So, like, took off at, like, 6 p.m. Eastern, get back here, like, 9. Mm -hmm. Usually a pretty casual flight. Everyone's, like, quiet, whatever. And I'm the first... For the record, 19A, I don't know if I've told you this, 19A on on Delta flights is the greatest seat of all time because it's a window, but there's no one in front of you. You're the first person off the plane and the stewardess is facing you. Not the stewardess, the flight attendant is facing you. So anytime you want a drink, because their jump seat is like literally just like five feet away from you, but facing you. So you can just ask them for more drinks. It's free drinks and usually a great time. So I pick my normal seat, 19A, and I get on. And typically my move is the second that the plane starts taking off, I recline my seat because that's like when you're allowed to do it, whatever. I think you have to hit 10,000 feet. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. We're, we're now technically airborne, so I put it back. Yeah. And I hear like an audible, like loud, as loud as I'm talking right now, like, are you fucking joking? Like right as I did that. And I was like, that must be that must just be weird timing. She must have been saying it yeah, to yeah. the person sitting next to them. Starts just kicking my seat. Like, super hard. Like, like not trying to be casual. Just, like, literally, like, shaking my seat. To say, to say, like, I'm an asshole for putting my seat back. Keep in mind, we're in the extra legroom seats. She has so much space. Like, there's no... There's no, there's just, there's no way... What, that, what is the... Describe this woman to me. Uh, I didn't hear, I didn't see her when I got on the plane, but clearly a woman's voice, like not a children's not a kid. voice. And after like three minutes, I'm like, do I turn around and be like, are you nine years old? Yeah. Or, but then I start questioning, I go, am I, am I an asshole for, for putting my seat back? I'd never thought about it until now. I thought everyone puts their seat back. I've never had anyone complain. That's not like a child. Like I've had some people put their seat back and I'm like, ah, bummer, but I'm not like, I would never hold that against them. No. It's an option we well, all have. You're also doing it, so. N- not necessarily. I you know, but you- they give you the option. So True. Yeah. why yeah, would that yeah, ever yeah. be a bad thing to do? I could see, the only time I could see it being a problem is if they're in the seat that is the last seat in the plane and they are not able to recline. And I would be like, okay, maybe I'm. Yeah, but even then, it's like a, hey, would you do me a favor and not recline? Like, there's no, like. Literally, like. You're never like, an asshole for doing that. I don't, I didn't look at her. So you still don't know what she looks like? No, no, I saw her after the flight. I'll right. get, I'll get, okay, tell, you, sorry, sorry. tell you some stuff about that after. She was either shaking it with both, like a lot of force, either with both of her hands or she had her feet up. And you weren't budging? No, I had my headphones on. I just pretended I was asleep. And, um, oh my God. We, to make matters worse, when I got on, there was no overhead space for some reason because I was the last guy to, like, one of the last people to get on in comfort. And so I had to go back to like the back of the plane and put my bag up. So the whole flight I'm stressing like, what, how do I even get back there? Do I have to wait for everyone to get off the plane? I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to get up and do it. The second the thing goes off, I like kind of hustle back there and she, I see her, she had a giant, this is makes it a little bit worse. She had a giant service dog. So that was probably why she was like, is this guy fucking joking? Because her dog was sitting in like at her feet and I kind of like went back on the dog but still if you have a giant service I'll get it a fucking get it a seat yeah. whatever you didn't know now on my way back her boyfriend or whoever was sitting next to her his bag is also back there but he wasn't as proactive so he's fighting the current as I'm getting up and I was trying to get back to the front because in my head it was like well that's my seat so like I, I'm not cutting whatever I was being cut now that I'm saying a lot, I was being kind of a prick, but he, I'm the only thing standing in the way of him and his bag. And he's just death glaring me the entire time. And I kept being like, I'm sorry. And after like 30 seconds of like us doing a shuffle, he just, uh, just grabbed my shirt and just got over the seat and like went and like fought his way through people and got, got the bag. But the, that whole row behind me must think that I'm like the, the, the spawn of Satan. Grab your shirt. Yeah. And like put his leg over the seat and like jump. Wait, over wait. The seat. Here's the only thing that I think you did that was in the wrong. If you went back and got your suitcase, you don't then have to, the right to yeah, jump on everyone. I know. You were I, like, 
going past no, no, no. They're just, they hadn't gotten out of their seats yet because the door wasn't open yet. So oh. it was like, I was just making my way up there. Oh, he, okay. Maybe he, then. He yeah. was the only thing standing in my way. No, I think that's fair because what if you yeah. left something at your seat? It's like, yeah. no yeah. one knows. I was also, it was just like a crowded aisle. And in my head, it was yeah. like adding a fifth or adding a seventh person into this row when people are trying to get their bags yeah. is like making it harder on these people who are trying to get. I was just trying to get out of everyone's way. I agree. But it looked like I was. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, it looked like you were, yeah, yeah. It but, looked like I was that guy who has never been on a plane before. But they probably saw you go back. So they no, did. No one he would've. was the only person that was upset about it. Got it. And then, wouldn't he have recognized you from the... He did. He just, uh, I think he's thinking what you were thinking, where it was like, all right, you've got your bag, chill there. But, I don't know. He would have had to get, he would have had to get around you either way. Either way. Yeah, it was a nightmare. And then I saw her get off the plane, and she was like doing that thing where like, we're all kind of moving with the flow of traffic, like let's... Let's not like sprint around people. She's like cutting people off with her dog, and I was not a fan of this woman. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you really did anything wrong. I think that the dog on a plane thing's a little crazy to me, unless it's like a yeah. little dog. Do you ever see? Do you ever see people? This is gonna sound horrible. But do you ever see people where you're just like, that's not a service dog? Yeah, like all the time. <laughs> yeah. We used to work in restaurants, and people would come in and would be like, "You can't have that dog here." It, like we it, we only allow service animals, and then be like. Okay, it's a service animal. Yeah. And then, like, we were like, are you seriously going to fucking do this? Like, yeah. why? Come on. Uh, I had, I think I told this one already. I'm anti, I'm not anti-dog, but I'm anti, like, making your dog other people's problems. Well, making, acting like your dog has the rights of a human. Exactly. It's insane. My dog doesn't come on vacation because it's a dog. Yeah. yeah. It stays at home with the... Yeah, well, you did bring one to work last podcast. Oh, yeah. That's true. But it was a hit in the comments. It was a hit in the comments. Um, similar situation. I think I told us already, but did I ever tell you about that woman who was trying to bring her, like, in quotes, clearly not a service dog, like, not trained, giant Labrador, and she was she was trying to have it lay down in the exit row where, like, there's no seat, and, like, yeah. they just can't be there. So she swapped seats with someone. This She had convinced this guy to swap seats with her. And so that she could be in the X row so that her dog could fit. And the flight attendant was like, hey, like the FAA says, like, you, we, we just can't let you do that. And she, like, refused to believe the flight attendant. So, like, the captain had to come out of the cockpit and be like, man, like, go sit down in your seat. People are just like, people with those yeah. fake service dogs are very entitled and it makes me mad. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's also like, it's, if it is a service dog, I'm fine. I have I've absolutely no problem with it. It's when... It's when your dog's like humping shit and like so clearly not <laughs> not like a trained service dog. And it's like you yeah. just slapped that vest on him. Yeah. If I asked you for one piece of paperwork, you'd, you'd, and you'd maybe freeze. humping shit is the service. Yeah. Oh my God. There is, I saw, I haven't started it yet, but new season of uh, Love on the Spectrum came out. Okay. And there's a clip where they, these two people who are on a date both bring their dogs and Aww. his dog starts humping her dog. And like you know, like it's it's an awkward thing for someone who's not doesn't have autism. But this guy was just like profusely apologizing, <laughs> and like like Aww. making a big scene out of it. I'm Love very excited show. to watch it. We're gonna fire it up tonight. Great show. You and me? No, me and my friend Ty. You can come if you nope, want. Nope, nope, nope. I'm out. I'm out. I gotta uh, do. We gotta do that more. Look down we? the barrel of the camera yeah. when we say like a cool. I never moment. look at the camera. Like Jim from the office. Whenever yeah. he says. Willie, did you have to uh, walk in the rain today to work? I had to bike. I bought a bike oh, last yeah, your week. Bike. Last Thursday, yeah. I went to the bike store and I bought a new bicycle. It's got the colors of a rocket pop. I'll insert a photo. Yeah, insert a photo right here. Actually, maybe not because now everyone's going to buy it. Everyone's going to copy you. Everyone's going to buy it. Cause, you, no, it's you? like a local Venice bike shop. Like, it'd be pretty hard. Only people who live here could buy it. Wait, um, put a picture. Put a picture. We make more work for Lauren. We're like, all right, put a picture of me and Will. Put Photoshopped a riding it. Picture of a <laughs> horse here now, and yeah. Anyway, I got a bike, and so I biked to work today in the pouring rain, and I got soaked. But it was honestly, it's there's something like kind of nice about the rain here because it never rains. It's my rain. favorite thing in the world. Rain yeah. character moment. Yeah, I literally felt like I was. Yeah, I was listening to tunes. Nice. It was good. Yeah. It's fun. Very fun. Very fun. The lady at the coffee shop. I told Will this already, but the lady at the coffee shop. Last time I ordered, put a heart on my coffee, and then this, this on my tea. I didn't tell you this this morning. I told yeah. Emily Marcus. Oh, your headphones are in. You were in the room. And uh, usually, not usually, she did it one time. She put a heart on it, 
And then this morning, I ordered same name, no heart. Hmm. Shit. We should. We should. It's kind of. We should call that coffee shop and get her fired. Yeah, that should uh, be a new part of the part of the show. We call prank calls. Prank call calls places to get call people places fired. to get people fired. <laughs> oh, you, and everyone can submit. Everyone can DMs of like yeah, like times that, they've been wronged. Yeah. <laughs> can you uh, have you ever sent something back? Send something back. What do you mean? At a restaurant? Oh, um, no, not really. No, Lauren. I'm trying to think. Um, no, I don't think sent something back, but been like maybe they like, forgot something. Yeah. for a while. I don't know. I was waiting. Um, uh, <laughs> I went to dinner with uh, my friends in Boston on uh, Saturday, and I got there before them. You you know how you know how girls are always doing their makeup, so they were like fifteen minutes late. Because they're probably shopping too. Probably shopping and like talking boys and um, gossiping. And yeah. The guy, it's a Mexican restaurant, so pretty standard stuff for them to like bring chips and salsa. So I just thought he was bringing it like that's what they do. And I, but it was like a pretty elaborate, like lots of different. It wasn't just your. Sta- it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> was it like a three dip? Combo? Yeah, exactly. There was, and there was like no. It was like it was like verde. There was like some sort of chickpea thing, and then like a just a traditional salsa. And I kind of made a mental note, being like, this was a little more elevated than just like the normal chips and salsa that they bring. Yeah. And right sitting right next to me is a is like another group of girls, who their whole party's there. They've clearly like been ordering stuff <laughs> and the, the, way, the waiter came over as i'm like stuffing my face with their chips uh came over to their table and was like hey there was a little snafu with the chips and salsa <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go Did get you hear it and i i was like i'm like chewing so like they're like the loudest chips and we're like kind of the only people in this section of the restaurant it was like an it was like an upper deck and it was just so clear that they brought me the, <laughs> their chips. They're looking over. Like, one girl looked over and just started laughing. We made like a fun moment of it. But if yeah. there was a second I was like, oh, this is so <laughs> bad. Just, did you clear up the fact that you just assumed it was free? I No, I didn't say anything and they didn't say anything to me. And they didn't charge you? No. And I think that they thought that I was being like stood up <laughs> because I kept ordering more. Th- like the girls were texting me being like, order this stuff. Got it. Got and so it. I'm like, there are four placemats. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'll have a pitcher of margarita. And they're like, and f- and I'll be like, in four glasses. And then I'll, and then I'll have a pineapple margarita. And the guy, the guy was like, and it, dude, I'd been at the table. For, I'd guy been at, at the, the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I had been at the table for f- 20 minutes. Yeah. And like no sign of anyone coming. And I, I think they like started to feel bad. And then the girl showed up and they were like, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, I had an experience uh, on Friday. I went to I was meeting my buddy Brett at the bar. Brett the Lorax. Brett the Lorax. Legend. Um, it was like this cool kind of Western theme bar, mm-hmm. and I got there. My phone died in the Uber there. Always a good sign. Yeah. So I get there and I'm sitting there, and there's no TVs at the bar. My phone's dead, <laughs> and I just I didn't I like I like didn't know what to do. I just stared straight ahead for. I'm like, what do you do? I know. I feel like I would read the menu. For I, a while. I I did that. I literally I read the whole menu like twice. <laughs> I was like looking at the different kinds of like bottles of alcohol on like the shelf. Like, <laughs> okay. nice Stoli, mm-hmm. 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 Grey Goose. Anyone, yeah. Was there anyone around you? Yeah, I mean, but they were like all like in their own little crews. Like yeah. I I looked like I was like I I feel like I look like a freak right now. <laughs> and I also was like, did I get the I never went to this bar before. So yeah. I was, like, did I go to the wrong place? You start questioning if Brett's even coming. If he's like, yeah, exactly. I was like, how long would I sit here before? It's kind of sad that I, we can't exist. I know. I was like embarrassed by the fact that I was so, <laughs> I hated it so much. <laughs> Your phone dying when you're waiting for someone and like they're the only thing that can save you is the yes. most, you just feel helpful. The bartenders were kept looking at me. He's like, what? <laughs> what's this guy's deal? <laughs> I remember they probably weren't thinking about me at all. It was all in my head. I was like the last one leaving school for some reason. Like I had to stay back and like do something. Like at college? No, in like high school. And my sister, it was before I had my license. And I texted, I, my phone was at like 1%. Like I think the only other person in the high school was like the janitor. Mm. And I just fired off like a Hail Mary text being like, hey, I'm done. Um, my phone's going to die. Can you come pick me up? And I went and just sat on the front steps. <laughs> And I was just like, I don't, I'm not even sure that that text <laughs> went through. 
and I sat there for like 30 minutes, and then I saw my sister's headlights pull in. It was one of those like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I might have to sleep here. I don't know. What? Can I walk home? Uh, I didn't live that close. I was afraid school. his walking oh. license either. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, in theory, I think I've walked that far before, but it was like, I'm trying to think about. There was Route 77 ran through my town. It was just like too busy of a road to be like, (laughs) to like if I was walking down it, like I would see so many people that I know, and I would look weird for walking home. Yeah, walking is kind of. What's wrong with looking weird? Uh, What's wrong with looking weird? The kids that everyone hates it. That's so subjective. The, The kids that walked in my town walked around were always like up to no good. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, why are you, why are you like drifting through this part of town? <laughs> like, I guess. Floating. Um, okay. I'm really excited about this. We got our first ever, some kid added me on LinkedIn. He found my personal LinkedIn <laughs> and DM'd me and said, is this where I should submit pitches? And I said, this is exactly where. And I haven't read it yet, but I took a screenshot and I sent it to Lauren. Nice. Should All we right. get into it? Some, some friend of the pod submissions? Let's some do fops. It. All right. All I right. will. I will say, just to preface, the screenshot that I sent Lauren is. A, I don't know how long pitches normally look. It, in my mind, is one of the longest pitches I've ever seen. Um, we've had some very long ones. I've, okay. I've read some long ones. Okay. This one's like fine. Okay, All so right. Samuel Wallace. Samuel Wallace. Yeah, I really applaud the effort for sending him a message I call on up. LinkedIn. That's okay. So yeah, funny. and it, like your person, like a yeah. name that. Your your secret name too. Secret name. Yeah, on LinkedIn, I'm a professional basketball player, <laughs> and I, Lauren, I posted my first post on LinkedIn this uh, weekend, and it has 6,100 impressions. Wow. Yeah. I'll have to. We'll have, I'll have to send a connection. He announced that he signed with the Lakers. Yeah, I said I'm a small forward. I'm announcing that I'm taking the position of small forward at the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> I'm a two way forward that can clean the glass, and I bang down low. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Samuel Wallace. So he says, so it's a job website like Indeed slash LinkedIn, but instead of you posting your technical skills, certifications, college degree, work experience, etc., it's more for companies that are looking to hire chillers and personality hires. <laughs> so, for example, your profile would say, <clears throat> randomly bring bagels to work from this place next to my house, always gassing up the fellas in front of the female coworkers appropriately, of course. Thank you for that. There we go. <laughs> um, we'll cover for you when you fuck up an Excel sheet and the boss man gets pissed and so on. Essentially, I just feel like companies are too focused on hiring people based on how good they are at Excel, and they need to focus on sourcing some good stoke-inducing individuals. I've been called a personality hire my whole life, and I'm damn proud of it. Time for Google to notice my capabilities. Hell yeah. I like that a lot. I like um, that a lot as well. I don't like that people are just boxing my boy in as a personality hire. I think that that's a backhanded compliment. I kind of agree with that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think we are both objectively personality hires. I think this company is not the standard, <laughs> like, company. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone at this company that doesn't work at, uh, like, a... I feel like you have to be... We're, we're literally, like, hire. we are hired for our person. Anyone? <laughs> okay. Here's how you distinguish whether someone's a personality hire here or a technical hire. If they have a desktop, they have some skill. Yeah. They have some technical ability. If they have a laptop, their personality, their personality hire. I, I would disagree with that. Sounds like a uh, skill hire. Yeah, she's throwing some shots. At well, no, the, I think I'm both. She's throwing shots. But at, I'm just at defending the ladies downstairs. Yeah, oh. no. Lauren just Lauren just threw an absolute haymaker at Emily and uh, no, Haley. no. I think I she's t- doing a, opposite. A, you you you're took a shot a at them. At them. Yeah. You're saying they're. Oh, no, you guys can also have good personalities. I'm just saying that that the desktop implies that you were hired initially for your skill. Yeah, so you're the one throwing haymakers at those girls that don't have desktops. <laughs> okay. No, I was saying that they have good personalities. I also just didn't even take them into account. I just assumed they had desktops until she said that. What do you? What well, do you, long story short, you mean short, a physical desktop or a desktop computer? Like, long story short, I think I, <laughs> I have my skills and I'm a personality hire. All right, I, yeah. Well, so Edge, you want the best. If of both we want to talk about me for a second, Edge went. Edge through, is not a personality. Edge hire. went through. I was gonna. <laughs> say, I was gonna say Edge went through a phase where he was just hiring like chill people. What? Like, uh, 
about to talk it into yeah, it, actually. Nobody yeah. knows who we're talking about. <laughs> With no. Kren- okay. When we hired Krendel, that was a clear print personality hire. Yep. Krimpert was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Like, th- about, I, we, we might as well be saying these names because they don't know our, yeah. our staff here. But here's what I will like, say. I love this idea. I think that, um, yeah, I think maybe, I mean, I don't know if you need a whole website. Maybe it's like a filter on Indeed where it's just like, like you can prioritize people who have assets other than like, you know, technical skills. I, I don't like, think it's bad. I think if you're a personality hire you, and you know your personality, it's an important role in the office. Yeah. How do we, how do we, you know, filter out the people that think that they are chiller than they are? Well, they, yeah, I mean. You need, you need like, you need people to you vouch for you. That, I think you need like to submit like a tape of you like. I was, yeah. Doing something cool i was just gonna say that well can't you have people on linkedin for your skills that like all like endorse oh, yeah, all, like endorse like, that harper yeah. <laughs> harper is good at spss i've never yeah. gotten an endorsement i'm kind of bummed really yeah but like i know i should I, I just, oh i don't know if i have i don't really want to you want to give me an endorsement? i'll endorse you i'll endorse you, endorse you yeah me? well or, I, i'll say she's a great personality personally <laughs> personally i'm actually going to report lauren's linkedin oh. because i don't want you to leave ever True. I don't, want yes. you, I don't want you to have the ability to. Yes, leave. we're gonna actually. Yeah, we're gonna get you. We're gonna report all your social media, and I'm like, gonna start writing like horrible things about you on the chat. I'm gonna email any other job that you could possibly get after this, and tell them in advance that you said something really, really, really Ooh, effed horrible. up. Really effed up. Oh. Effed up. I'm, mm. I'm serious. Yikes! Like we're, we're gonna ruin every other prospect, so you, I, uh, you can't leave. My us. life would be over. We're gonna put the word out in the podcast community. Which we're very active in. Mm-hmm. That you are stinking. Oh, okay. Just to yeah. reverse psychiatry. Actually, Lauren, no, we shouldn't be telling you this. We should we should say Never yeah, mind, we're not doing any of that. We should say we should say, Lauren, hey Lauren, when you we you should start just putting feelers out there so that you can use it leverage for your next contract negotiation and then when she puts us down as references, we just trash her. Oh us. yeah. You know what? We won't do any trashing. Just <laughs> You should put feelers out. There's you. You are so talented, and we're we are holding you back. So just put us as references. Well, no, 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 no. no. We want we what well, we want. No, I'm saying go apply places and put us as references. Yes, but we're not doing it. We're doing it so that she can get a a higher contract here, because then once she has job offers from other companies, she can come back we're, to us. We're doing it for and say, R- J- Rusty, yeah, Rusty, start paying us more. Yeah. We we're doing it for what Rusty's saying. And yep. Okay, let's hear the second. Like weird <laughs> hypothetical situation. Okay. Yep. Well, thank it's all you. All a joke. It's <laughs> okay, Samuel. Thank you. That was awesome. Love the great effort on that part. Okay, our next one is from Becca Bender. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think that's like a one of the OG Friday Beers characters, <laughs> like Dooley, the late night special. Becca Bender. Becca Bender. That's a sick name. Okay. She says, hey, sharks. Hi, Becca. Hey, sharks. Hey, hey, dolphin. Here's a pitch for you. Playlists for streaming services on Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, etc. You'll be able to put your favorite episodes of TV shows into one playlist that you can shuffle or autoplay and avoid the episodes you don't like. For example, you can put all the Christmas episodes of your favorite shows and binge during the holidays instead of having to look them up and search for them individually. You can make a playlist of the most hilarious episodes for days when you're feeling down. What do you think? That's awesome. I think Becca Bender cooked on this one. (laughs) I think that I agree with you, Will. And I think what would be fun is if you, we even take it a step further, right? So we sell, we sell Becca's code to like Hulu, right? We'll sell the code. And... And it'll basically it'll you can <laughs> you can type in a common theme. So you're like, I want episodes from these four TV shows, but I only want episodes about love. And it'll yeah. just be a, a a best of the best love episodes. I like that it's all they're all it's all like combined. So it's all streaming service, Spotify, Apple Music. It's all you can make like a, a playlist that's like oh, yeah. it's like a song, and then an episode of The Office, and yeah. then. Glorious bastards, <laughs> nightmare, then... nightmare person to have on Ox. Like, yeah. It's an entire episode of Entourage. Yeah, it's like, play, yeah, exactly. Um, Hulu does this thing now that's really cool, where it's only on certain shows. I saw it on like One Tree Hill. They do it where you can it's playlist within the show, so it'll be like the best of Peyton and Lucas, mm. oh. and it'll be like only episodes that kind of follow them. Oh, that's I, sick. I saw you know how like now on the like sometimes on streaming services they'll have like little like if you pause it it says like. 
who's on the who's yeah. on the thing. Uh, God, I don't. I didn't bring my phone, but I had. I took a hysterical picture of one. It was like toothbrush user or something. Oh yeah, it was like like they whatever mailman but, number seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I literally was like something about brushing his teeth. I don't know. I'll find it. We'll put it right here. Did you see that video of that kid? Cut out for you this week. Mm -hmm. This British kid is getting in the car with his mom, and and the Christmas pageant is coming up, and he's like very excited. He's like, "I got a classic role. Mm. I got a classic role in the pageant this year." And she's like, "She's like, oh, really? A classic role?" And he's like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Are you playing Joseph?" And he's like, "No." Are you one of the kings? And she, he's like, "No, it's a no, it's a classic role." And she like lists all the characters in the Christmas pageant, and then he's like, "I'm door, I'm door holder number three. I get to open the doors for people." <laughs> and uh, he's, yeah, he's and he's really like excited. ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, it's That's so adorable. cute. Adorable. Okay, well now I need to go watch that. Yeah, yeah, episode. we'll put that right here. <laughs> put that whole video right this, here. <laughs> this episode is gonna get an award for most um, graphics on the screen. I don't think Lauren even knows that we switched one of the drafts. No, I'm huh? for it. It ties into that. Yeah. Ties into awards. And, uh... All right. Wonderful. Thank you, Becca Bender. Last... Great name. Love that name. I'm obsessed. Okay. Our last pitch is from (laughs) Faded Jeff. Faded Jeff. Faded Jeff, also one of the OG Friday Beers characters. I think Faded Jeff used to sell me weed. Yeah. This is a YouTube comment. And I'm sorry, a lot of you guys are like, where should I submit pitches? Literally, like, send them to our DMs on YouTube comments. Like, you can send them to my personal Instagram. Like, I'll probably... Actually, I shouldn't say that. No, I'm the only pla- The only place... There's just so many sometimes, so it's yeah. hard to, like, see all of them. I had a barber once. He went by Darth Fader. There we go. That's awesome. Sorry. I, I, I will say one of the one of the places... You should, you should send them to, like, the accounts that lauren runs because i get scared to open them and then i'll see them and i I won't be able to hear them live yeah yeah yeah. if you send them to our personals then it ruins it yeah okay (laughs) anyway (laughs) just ruined it it ruined christmas okay these shoes are falling apart Ooh. okay faded jeff he says i have a pitch it's like spotify wrapped for drinking at the end of the year it shows your top five alcoholic beverages consumed with, sp- with specific mm. numbers it might look like 1000 natural lights 500 fireball shots Ugh. 100 old english 40 make me so sad etc wait let me finish sorry it also shows it's just a tuesday for you <laughs> it also shows your top five types of alcohol consumed which might look like 2000 light beers wait a thousand shots of whiskey, two hundred IPAs, etc. Other what w- with other fun stats thrown in, I like can't. Mine would mine would just make me bummed. Yeah, exactly what you said. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about Should how sad it would make me this? until you tell me. No, 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 no. You get it this, would be like, oh fuck. Here's here's That's how awful. here's how we elevate it and we make it fun again. Not that it wasn't fun already, but you know how when you're swiping through your Spotify Wrapped. And it has the stats, and then it'll do like a fun graphic. Yeah, it'll it'll just play back only times where where everyone was enjoying your presence, like during <laughs> during these drinks. So it'll be like right after you made a great joke, it shows like a visual. Well, I'm thinking like I guess like Spotify doesn't tell you like how many times you listen to each song in your top five. I think it does. Your I think your top your actual first song. Okay, tells well you. you could get the data without having to know the number of times. Like I would yeah. be curious to know what my top five drinks were. What do you think they'd be? Um like Bud Budweiser. You love Budweiser. It's crazy. Yeah. I mine would be VR. I think my top top two would be I don't know in what order, but screwdriver and muscat mule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have another fun way to elevate this. You know how Spotify rap does like it will give you the city of where you have people that yeah. so you could do um it'll show you like the city where you had what the bar most amount of drinks. Yeah, like yeah. The Oh, the bars would be fun. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, the map. That's it could also cool. tell Who you, you did it with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be fun. It could also tell you like where in the world, similar to how Spotify does it, where in the world are your drinking habits most similar to? Yeah. So it would be like people in Madison, Wisconsin. Mine would be like yeah, you Appalachia. Be like Prescott, <laughs> Prescott Isle, Maine. Um, all right. Fantastic. Should we pitch each other? Yeah. Well, I've got some heat today. Sweet. I love doing these pitches. All right. I've got Me too. my first one is called VARS. <clears throat> it's VAR for police encounters. <laughs> 
Do you know what VAR is? <laughs> no. It's video assisted review or something. It's like in soccer games. And like, like after, tennis. And like, oh, like, oh, my God. Yeah. I should know. Yeah. 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 So. Basically, after, like if, if like you get pulled over or something, or you're like yeah. involved in some sort of crime, you can Good. demand like throw a, a challenge. Yeah, flag. you can like throw. Yeah, like everyone gets one like in their sock. Like Bill Belichick, you throw it, and then the cop has to like like another cop comes out with like a screen, and you they like huddle in the. They thing. have to like call call New York. Yeah, yeah, they have to call, and uh, yeah, they they watch like the body cam footage, I guess, or they watch like drone footage of a, the yeah. incident, and uh, you can. Um, I like kind that. of inspired, but I had an idea for the third base cop. It was like, you know, the, you know how like if like they can't tell yeah, if a guy yeah. check swung or not, they, they send it down base, to third yeah. base. So it's like if you like if you drove like ran a red light, but then you reverse yeah. back over, and it's like, did he go or not? And you look, you point over, and they have like a cop. It's like, Ooh! I like that. You get arrested. Yeah. I got, uh, I got a ticket one time, and in the ticket they sent a link to the incident, mm. and it had like a photo. No, it had a video. Oh. From the from the stoplight because it was just it was like I God. I did I did what I call a California roll stop, which is when you're like slow down enough. There's clearly no one coming, so you just bang it right on red. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a that's allowed. Or technically, you have to. Stop. I you have to stop. Yeah. And I just in my head, I was going one mile an hour, and you, my dad pull, sends me the link. And I'm going legitimately 25. <laughs> oh <my laughs> just, like, just like peel around this corner, and uh, it's so clearly like me driving too. Like you couldn't, you couldn't like, like make the argument that it was someone else driving. In Arrested yeah. Development, they like he holds up the yeah yeah, yeah CD exactly. cover. <laughs> so that, yeah. Um, okay, I got similar to yours. I have the anti-ticket car. So <laughs> now this I like. It's it's basically it's so sleek and slippery that there's just like not really a good place <laughs> like, for, for like the cops to like put your ticket. Like and like they can't tape it on. It's like kind of Teflon, whatever. And and then like <laughs> if they somehow like could get it under the wind- windshield wipers, it does that thing that like that Banksy painting did, yeah, where it just like shreds, shreds the shreds the ticket. And like they just get so tired of trying to like. <laughs> Find a place to put it that they're just like, all right, I'll let them park here. I love that. Thank that's you. a great, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> I like the idea that that would prevent it. Like they don't just yeah. scan your license plate. Yeah. No, yeah, your license would, plate like like It's like that, James, it. that James Bond thing where like, like if it senses a cop, it just like. Yeah, if it senses like a <laughs> camera. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, I've got Uber Comfort Plus. So yeah. I think they have Uber Comfort. Yep. Uber Comfort where you can set like preferences for the rides. Yep. So Uber Comfort Plus is like. You pick out, you can like save these settings too, and it's like it's your song and or playlist for the whole ride. Fire. You give you can put like a killer line for the guy to open it up with, so it'll be like, <laughs> "What's shaking tonight, Playboys?" or something. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. Like all your friends will be like, "What the?" And then, and then or I'll be like, "Willie cool. D." Yeah. Like, how we how we living? Or like. Uh, or you can like provide information about your life so that he like knows what to ask about. You could also put uh you ever argue with your buddy about something and like everyone oh. in the group everyone in the group is trying to tell him that like he's wrong. You yeah. could have the Uber driver bring it up and be like, Do you guys ever think about how like Velcro shoes aren't that cool? And yep. we'd all be like, Told you. Yep. Yep. You could bingo. Um yeah, you basically have like a lot of power over you like you can make him wear a, a fun hat. <laughs> uh, they they have like they all have like the balloon animal stuff, so you can have like him prepare some of those. Yep. For, or like the you know you can like make like a a hat or like a. I like that dog. you could put in what genre of music yeah. you want to do. You can put in specific requests because right now on Uber you can do it lets you do temperature, bags, conversation, and like music level. Yeah, but I've never, I've never thought about what I would want to listen to. The Uber I got in last night was sick. What is that? It's just I didn't realize how cool because uh, you know how at LAX I was home late enough that I was just like it makes sense to just buy a black so that it can come directly to the thing. You don't have to take the shuttle because regular Ubers have to go like a mile away. Oh, those ones can come right up to the black can come right up to the thing. And it's like it was like a hundred bucks, but I got in and he had like the new S class Mercedes, which also if you have one of those cars. How did you afford that if you're an Uber driver? It doesn't make any sense to me. Semantics. I got in and it was the coolest like backseat that I've ever been a part of. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, also, how why do they how do they get these people with these nice cars to to drive Uber? 
Well, I know that Uber was like paying oh. for Teslas. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I was like talking to some guy about it last year, like someone who was driving me and he was like, yeah, they, they will like give you money towards a car. If, if yeah, it's like your full time thing yeah. and if you've been uh, doing it for a certain amount of time, I don't know. I, I love know. it. I mean, if the rides are a hundred bucks, you probably make a ba- bank. Yeah. yeah. If you. All right. Yeah. Um, in my turn? Yeah. All right. My next one is like, it's merch for everyday things. So you you would connect your contacts to it. It like knows everything about all your friends. So I could buy like a sick Willie D shirt that like, oh. but like your friend doesn't make his own merch. So I would yeah, have yeah. like Willie D and it would have a cool design that like, they have someone make or like maybe the bar that you like doesn't have cool t-shirts, but you want to rep that you like that bar yep. and they have like sweet shirts. I just think it'd be funny to just have like a, like a Lauren shirt. A hundred percent. And it's just like pimped out Lauren merch. When yes. I was in when I was in high school, I stopped. I was on a ski trip with my buddies, and we stopped on the way up in Radford, Virginia. Yep, it's like a little small town. Uh, we went to this place called Deli Mart because mm-hmm. we thought that they were gonna have like sandwiches, and it turned out to be just like a convenience store. Yeah, um, and we like took a picture outside. Of it. I don't know. It became like a running joke in our friend group. So when we got back, we ordered all custom T shirts that had the logo of the, like I replicated it. And like Microsoft Paint made shirts that said <laughs> Deli Mart with their, like their exact logo on the front, same colors, and on the back it said like in quotes more Mart than Deli, because <laughs> uh, it was like just yeah. the end. And we would wear them around, and we were always like, it would be so funny if one day we pulled up to Deli Mart all in these. You have to next time you go. You have. To I still wear. have like some of the shirts. Yeah. And they didn't That's sell awesome. well. I insert, lost like a hundred dollars. Insert on them. photo. Yeah, yeah. Insert our I'm definitely deli going mark. to. I'm gonna want to see this. Yeah, yeah. It was very funny. I ran the I ran the shirts for like our super fan thing mm. in high school, and I remember just making them on like custom ink. Yeah, and thinking they were so sick. Yeah, and then going back and looking at them, like they're cool, but it was like I wasn't as creative as I thought I was being. They weren't. Yeah. We had a, I'm, I started the Taco Dodgeball Club in high school, and we made shirts of those that were pretty pretty sick logos, half taco, half dodgeball. What did that entail? We we just were like wanted to like make a new club, um, and we got like a teacher to sign off on it. We just ever gathered. We had like forty people after school. We just bought a ton of Taco Bell and played dodgeball. Who was funding this? Fun. The school. Uh, my buddy Jack Nisi. I sent him to Taco Bell, and I told him <laughs> we'd pay him back. And then this was a one time thing. We did. We had one other meeting that kind of didn't really. It, it was really a one time thing. Yeah. yeah. And then my, it was Jack Nisi. If you're listening, I'm sorry. I don't think I ever paid you back for that. As the president, I feel like that falls on you too. Hundred yeah. percent. I like didn't have money. Like it was like I had like no money, and I was like, all right, yeah. you get them. I'm, I got you back. Like I was like, it was like one of those like apps where it's like, all right, we build the user base, then we'll figure out yeah, how this yeah. is profitable. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. All right. I got my last one is the full service toaster. I was making a bagel with cream cheese this morning and I was just thinking, it was like, all right, I got to toast the bagel. I take the bagel out. I got to get the cream cheese out. I got to spread it on the bagel. It's like too many steps. This bagel, you preload all the cream cheese in. It was like a syringe. <laughs> no, it's in like a compartment of the toaster. Yeah. And then it has a spreader too. So it toasts the bagel the perfect amount and then it goes and it. <laughs> Pops it right out, and it's already got the cream cheese on it. Love it. Um, yep. Sounds like a nightmare to wash. but No, it's self-cleaning. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, my last one is really dumb. It's called the little secretary, and you just get, like, a little guy that follows you around, and, like, he... It's just, like, been, like, five different... <laughs> what? They all come pitches. from the same, like, like community. It's a little guy that does X oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have I done that before? I did uh, one. Someone else did one. Yeah, maybe not you. Yeah. Okay, the little secretary is, <laughs> he's like a, a, a dwarf f- that follows you around. And um, actually, I don't know if he's, a, I think the, the whole point is he like fits in your pocket. Yeah. Um, and he's taking notes on like the most important things of your day. Mm-hmm. So when you're like, what was that song we were just thinking about? And like he knows, or it's like, do I have dinner with someone tonight? And he's like, yeah, that you can just hear him from your pocket. He's like, yep, <laughs> you do. Your mom is coming over for pasta. Or it'll be like, wh- what was I What was I going to tell Will? Yep. I kind of mailed it in with that pitch, but no, I like it, it happens. No, I like it. I like it. All right, we've got some very fun drafts today. We yep. have 
Will, do you want to start with more pirates that don't exist or... No, the other one. A new one, award shows that don't exist. All right, yes. Will, yep. it's award season. What are some of your favorite award shows? Oh, God. Well, I personally am a big fan of the Clammies. Yep. Uh, they have, you know, all sorts of awards kind of centered towards people with clammy hands. Mm-hmm. I'm a big, you know, the, the one particular award I have my eye on this year is Largest Transfer, which is given to the person <laughs> who has a, such a clammy hand that they transfer the clamminess onto the other hand during a dap up. Yep. And so basically they have some of the clammiest hands all dap up people with really dry hands, and then they measure the dry hands afterwards to see how much was transferred. Um, I so. think they asked me if I would, could be the dry hand. I have some of the driest hands in the world. I, I, think, we, I think I would be the opposite. I think yeah. I, I might get nominated for a clammy this year. Nice. Um, Not proud of it, but... Sometimes I could. Yeah, but you probably, knowing you. No, sometimes they're, like, really clammy. Mm. But don't, I won't go into detail. No, go. Keep talking. No, that's all I got. Go into detail. Go into detail. That's all I got. More. But Were one you... of my friends has, like, extremely clammy hands, so he always makes me feel better. There are kids that's that, like, did, did you ever have those kids at your high school that had to start, like, taking medication because they're, like hands were too sweaty all the time well yeah no one of my best friends from college actually had some sweat those are peds in yeah. the clammies <laughs> <laughs> you can't use them um i really like the coolest teens award oh yeah they grab the sickest teens from around the world and some of the awards include uh sickest house party loudest car baggiest jeans mm. um yep i think i think uh I think this year it's in Burbank, which nice. is going to be pretty cool. Burbank will be cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know what? That reminds me of one of my favorite awards shows. What? The Cricket's Choice Award. Uh, loudest Chirp. They have <laughs> the Long Jump. <laughs> the Cell Phone Carrier of, a, of the Year, which has been a, a bloodbath lately. It's usually just Cricket. Though, yeah, right? yeah. It's almost exclusively Cricket. Uh, Verizon did win in 2015, though. That's strange. Yeah. But uh, that's the Cricket's Choice Award, which I love. Uh, that kind of reminds me of Eric's Choice Awards. Mm. Uh, each, <laughs> each, each, each year, a random Eric is selected, and it's completely subjective to his opinion. So um, it ranges from, you know... Um, things as serious as, like, best leading actor in a film, best rap album... Um, best food that Eric had that year and like best high five Eric received. Like it's just, it's whatever Eric wants that year. And, um, it's completely, uh, his choice. It was cause best food was KCD of the day before Thanksgiving last year. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I love those. Yep. Okay. I've got, um, the TBAs, (laughs) which are an award show for things that haven't been announced yet. So they have, Best Future Picture, which is uh, an award that speculates what the best movie that hasn't been announced yet will be. Yeah. Um, yep. They have the Lifetime Achievement Award, which is given to a baby <laughs> <laughs> based on his prospects of yes. achieving a lot in his lifetime. I like that. So those are the TBAs, which are fun. Um, oh. I, <laughs> I got the Slammies. Oh. Um, it's, it's an award show for stunt doubles. Right, like that biggest biggest fall, biggest stunt, <laughs> longest scene on fire, uh, closest to death during a scene. Mm. They're they're a very underappreciated part of the film industry, and I'm glad that they're finally getting some recognition. There's like a non-zero chance that that exists, and we like maybe it's not called the Slammies, but there has to be some some sort of recognition. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a community of like stunt, stunt doubles. doubles. I like, would. There is. Um, my boyfriend like one of his best friends he's like fully in that world and like he does stunts all the time for like big movies that's and sick we'll hit two of his friends actually wow yeah what about him no not him <laughs> this is how we find just... out he's like the guy in batman and wow wow no <laughs> all right what do you got Willie? <laughs> what i don't know you guys looked at me like i was an idiot no i just i don't know continue Okay, uh, I love the Paleolithic Prize, which is awarded yearly. Um, they have Best Tool, um, mm. Coolest Grunt. It's a, okay. it's a, it's the best person from the Paleolithic 
probably will they think, oh, sorry, I should be clear. Yeah, yeah. They haven't awarded this in 10,000 years. Right. But yes. it was a hit. It was a hit. Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. Um, this one's just fun. I, I like the best life awards. It's just the coolest people in the world who are like uh, living fantastic lives. Awards include, you know, hottest partner, um, most time spent hanging. Um, and best vacation taken. And we just kind of applaud these people who have figured out life. Wait, what's this one called? The best, uh, the best life awards. <laughs> well, it's kind of stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. The, okay. The BLA. No, that one's not, that one's stupid. Mine are this, like this next one is so much not stupider <laughs> than it's so much cool. Yours is stupid. Mine's going to be super okay, normal let's hear it. real. Yeah. Okay. The steamies, <laughs> uh, they give out awards like softest broccoli or <laughs> hottest shower. Basically anything in the steam realm. Yes. Uh, least visibility in a sauna. Yeah. Um, I like that. I got the mommies. Um, it's... <laughs> what I just, are we doing, man? I just, I just don't think that moms get enough recognition and each year, each year, the best moms from across the country are brought to one place for the mommies. Uh, awards include best casserole, uh, swoopiest hair, I like that. Um, most lunches packed, yep. uh, most crusts cut off. Oh. I feel like I'm kind of boxing moms into stay, just stay-at-home moms, but Har- most hardest, most, uh, most jobs, mom. Most big corporate jobs. Most. Yeah. Most... Most most C suite jobs. Most biggest lawyer is just the biggest <laughs> mom that also practices law. Um. All right. That was that was so fucking sexist. Dude. That that was award shows that don't exist. That was insane <laughs> that he would say that on a, po- a family <laughs> podcast. Okay. I just like that was a lot. What, the ones what that we, the, like, broke Lauren. The ones it? that I, I the ones that like I were was convinced were not gonna get any reaction out of Lauren were the only ones that got one. Yeah, I don't know. She was like losing her mind. She right lost there. it at the be- at the the best the life best award? life awards, <laughs> which is like <laughs> no, no, I the um, mommies, the mommies. Okay, should we do the will? What about the daddies? Should we just say- what? What are the daddies? Do those exist? I mean. You're looking at him. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> Will. Yeah. I don't know. You Maybe start. You, 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 pirates that don't yeah, exist. You start this one. <laughs> all right. We're going to be drafting pirates that don't exist. Yep. I've got Captain Mike Apton. So it's like, oh, Captain Mike Captain. Nice. But it's Mike, like M I K E A P T I N. I like it. Ca- oh, Captain Mike Apton. I got Ernest Silver Sword, looter of knickknacks. <laughs> he uh, is just like really focused on, like during raids. Yeah, like he he's like, like easily distracted by like trinkets and knickknacks, heirlooms. and like yeah, and like kind of loses sight of the greater goal, which is you know the booty, like the, yeah. the the gold coins and stuff. But he'll find like a clicky pen or something. Yeah. And just like, this is fun. I like that a lot. I've got old Francis fingernails. There we go. He's got those crazy long fingernails, like from like the Ripley's Believe It or Not books. Yeah, and, but and you can always hear him coming because he does like. Are the mics picking this up? Or they can like hear they can hear him like dragging on the floorboard on the deck of the ship at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're super long. Yeah, um, I got Barnacle Blade. He's constantly like dropping his sword in the water and like he just doesn't really take very good care of his sword and it's just like riddled with barnacles now. But it ended up kind of being part of his image now because if you get slashed with a normal sword, you can kind of recover from that. Totally. If you get slashed from a sword with a bunch of barnacles on it, the infection is just way harder to deal with. It's exponentially harder. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's honestly something that I feel like isn't talked about enough. Mm-hmm. But that's, yeah. Well, I've got Snail Skin Kelly. <laughs> His skin is a thousand snails, each one hungrier than the one before it. That seems seem, seems like more of a You don't want to catch him out of his shell. Ah, I like that. He's really slow, though. Um, I got Longshanks the Widower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, you know, a pirate king during the golden age of piracy, 
and he, you know, kind of neglected his marriage because he was so caught up in the pirate game. Mm -hmm. So his wife left him, and he was so upset about it that uh, he would target married men because if he can't have a wife, no one can. I like that. Yeah. Even playing field. Yep. Uh, all right, I've got Shoelace Sammy. There we go. He's an old-timey pirate. That's greatest weapon is the very shoelace he wears. He gets his, <laughs> his victim where he wants him, and he goes, zoop. Ah. Kills him. Cuts, him. cuts the circulation in their neck with a shoelace. Can I ask you a question? Two. You can ask me two questions. Uh, wouldn't it be easier to just wear n- normal shoes and just carry the shoestring? He has to untie it. It's, um, part of the act, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it just seems really time consuming. Like it feels like no, I could no, get no, away. He's but... really good at it. He's like, all right. I got, I got patchy beard. Uh, I like patchy beard. He wants to grow a beard, big scary pirate, <laughs> big scary pirate beard, like all his pirate friends. But his just like never really grows in the way he wants it to, mm-hmm. and it like doesn't really connect here. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's just like it's it, it it's hard to be intimidating when they're like he can't even. That might be me if I was a can't, pirate. Can't even grow a beard. Uh, okay, my last one is 14-leg parlay. <laughs> it's uh, a pirate with 14 legs who is so intimidating that he has his that his opponents constantly are invoking the right of are parlay. Are invoking the right of parlay. So they call him 14-leg parlay. Now, in recent years, this has become a source of confusion yes. due to the legalization of sports betting, but has nothing to do with that. Yeah. For those of you at home that aren't familiar with Parlay, Parlay is uh, basically it's part of the pirate code where if you invoke the right of Parlay, they can't kill you. They have to bring you to their captain and he decides what to do with you. Um, you didn't know that? No. you never seen Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't. I was Here's not. my impression of Kira Knightley. Parlay! Parlay! Okay, sorry. What? <laughs> no, I don't really remember those movies, honestly. Oh. Um, all right. My last one is Ticklish Thomas of High Waters. Mm. Uh, he is one of the most cunning pirates of his time, uh, but his biggest weakness is that he's extremely ticklish. And so when the British crown finally captured him, uh, after like one visit from the tickle monster, he gave up where all of his treasure was buried. Oh. Yeah. That's a, that's a tough weakness to have. I know. His Achilles heel, if you will. Um, well, this was that was awesome. I like that. I had fun. That was a good I'm one. having a lot of fun today. I loved the awards, actually. That was great. I, I kind of wish I wasn't like blacked out during it because I was just laughing and like my eyes were watering up the whole time. But like blacked out, blacked out, Asplenda. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lauren's wearing black Air Force Ones today, which is pretty cool. Isn't that like a like a no? Yeah. The all black ones are the ones that yeah, that but those are flirting with it. Like I, when you came in today, I've like kind of steered clearly because I'm where you're gonna like roundhouse kick me. <laughs> they look right. swag though. Thank you. I don't wear them that often. I got them so long ago. I feel like they're like kind of hard to wear. But what do what what do we we're trying to make merchandise? If you guys have any ideas, sound oh, yeah. off in the comments. Julia Mencher, we uh, talked to her about. Making some stuff, which is going to be cool. What's that all? What's this all about? I'm just holding it for a little. Cool. Um, what else is going on? Well, Valentine's Day is next month. Oh, no. What do you... Are you guys, like... How are you guys... Pre- okay, that's making a lot of noise. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... How are we what? How are you guys going to prepare? Uh, I don't know. I just got out of birthday season, so now I have to transition i have three weeks left to find love you've been going on a date i've been going on a date mm-hmm. it's like still going on <laughs> yeah i've been on a date for the last two weeks um yeah i don't I'm know probably gonna i mean i'm assuming we do the thing at the office here where we all bring in brown paper bags and make little valentines and then we go down the line and drop them in everyone's did you do that of course yeah, yeah. it was the best yeah wait okay. No, no, what were you going to say? I was just going to, uh, off topic. That's it. I wasn't going to say anything of a substance. I was just going to ask what your guys' favorite part has been about January so far. About 2024. Ooh. Um, so I think it's been a good year. I like, I'm liking the energy of this year. Um. Oh, we got a maid at the house. Like You hired a maid? Cleaning people. 
is probably a better word. It's kind of embarrassing. Why? At this age? Please, yeah. Um, Sorry. No, it was just like, it was just overwhelmingly like dusty in our house. It's not like, they're not like doing any significant, yeah. you know, cleaning. They just come and they like make everything like nice and like prim and proper. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's also a bargain. You should look into one. Yeah, maybe. All right. um, I think we have a, um, a pest problem. Yeah, again. I don't think you think that. I think you know that. No, oh, again. No, 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 no. Like the termites I mean, have been gone for months. That's not a problem anymore. What is the new pest? There are something's eating our bananas at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's only our bananas. We have a chimp problem. They look, yeah, that's what, I, that's what Chester was like freaking out about. I was like, oh my god, you know what it probably is? Monkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Only the bananas. Only the. Did bananas. you look it up? What? Yeah, it's like people are like I don't know. Could How big? Be- like are there, are there like teeth marks or is it just like? No, it's like the entire like end of the banana is gone. But like, what does the end look like? Okay. Like severed? Or is yeah. it like cleanly cut? Like, because it'd be missing. much, They're be much more, knife. be much more concerning if there was someone, someone or something that knew how to use kitchenware. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a <laughs> knife cut. Like, it's definitely like, it almost looks like the end of it rotted off, but it's gone. So Which it's end? Like, the end that connects to the banana? No. Or sorry, the end that connects to the rest of the bunch. No. So how much? Like, give me an inch amount of inches. It's a lot. Yeah, like like a good like fifth of the banana is just missing. And it, but uh, where it's missing, like where where the uh, new banana stops, are the what does it look like? Is it the teeth marks or is it like fleas that are eating? No, no. I, there's not teeth marks per se, but there's enough missing that it's impossible that it was. So, but what I'm saying is, what does it look like? I understand what you're saying. I don't know how to. It can't just be missing. Can you please take a photo? I need to. I see threw that. all our right bananas here. out. We're not going to buy any more bananas. <laughs> um, well, they're just going to move on to a Dude, new snack. That's scary. Yeah, like, like Chester thinks it's like a possum or something. Oh my gosh! But I, I think know. it's probably just mice or something. I don't know. Um, uh, scary. Uh, well, I you think didn't, you didn't answer my question. What's been your favorite part? Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, I don't know. I feel like I've been just. Kind of stop playing with that mic and banging it into your mic. <laughs> Let me do what I want. We need to get you a fidget spinner, dude. It's crazy. I can't. Yeah. Uh, no, I. I just think I've been. I think I've been. Uh, just been happy, taking care of myself, Aww. and and that's so cute. Feeling more confident and like myself than I have since I moved out here. So it's good. Yeah, it just feels good. Hell yeah. I'm happy for you. Yeah, What's your favorite? Sorry part for that. Me? Sorry for that. Baby ant, like oh, I liked it. Wimpy answer. I'm not. I'm a tough guy still. Lauren, what's your favorite part so far? Um, well, I will use any excuse to talk about my blanket that I crocheted. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I want one, and I called. I, I called dibs on this next one. Okay. I'm getting a hat. I made it way too big, though. Like it's it's it's. I'd rather it be big than like too small, but it's like bigger than my bed. Can I have? Can I have mittens? Yeah, I'll I want to oven mitt. Yeah, I crocheted a blanket for everyone listening. I'm very proud of myself because I've never I'll put a picture of it. Right I've here. never like done a craft like that or finished something, so I was like very. I've proud. never finished anything. Like I'm very proud that I actually like saw that through. Yeah, yeah, you know? no, I agree. I compl- I like all week. I was I would get home from work and look forward to it, and I was like, this is nice. I feel like I have a purpose. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. you did a blanket. Oh. So well, I was just I was just gonna say I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, uh, well, not th- like she's just say- she's saying that that making one blanket gave her more of a purpose than working with us for five months. No, so you no, say, just like me. run the tape back, Lauren. No, just like Lauren, play it, play the clip of you right here, Lauren. <laughs> no, like I live alone. I get home and I'm like, oh, now what? But like, you I live get- alone. Yeah, you've been putting up great singing videos. Oh, thank you. Lately. Yeah, thank you. You want to sing right now? No, please. Mm. Wait, we uh, should do this thing. And I can't make you love me. Honey, come over. You know what my you're favorite the, you're line? That was? I don't know the words. Well, no. Will sang a different song than what I sang, which is awesome. Yeah, I didn't know the one you were singing. That was I can't, You yeah. can't make right, can you sing your Lacey? heart feel something it won't. Lauren, sing a sing a. Here in my arms. Corn. No. All right. Well, thank you guys for an awesome episode. We'll see you next week. And we are just proud 
oh. be on this journey alongside you. Wait, we need a we need a comment for this week. That's what I'm saying. Ideas for merch. The comment the comment this week is your idea for merch okay. plus uh plus your high school mascot. Yeah, your high school mascot. No one cares about that. Yeah, the whole it, point is to create like like nonsense like a sense in of the confusion, confusion, so that like yeah, people. But I want to like learn something about our people, not like that. Work. That is something to learn, and also I want there to be an incentive for people to listen to the end, so that they are like, they know what, what the heck comment. is everyone commenting about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, we love you guys, and we will see you guys on Wednesday. Catch you on the flippity flip.